Hi guys, we're back, and I don't know how this camera thing is going to work. Um, I know you're not real close to it, but I want to do this outside for the first time. I'm putting on my gloves. I am totally ventilated out here. Uh, we're outside of my back porch. This is the first time I have ever done any kind of resin. Very first time. What I have done is I have one cup that I have marked A and I have it marked off at the 20, I think these are, I'm not gonna be able to read them out here, but it's marked off the same on each one. This is marked B it's marked at the same so I can see the marks fairly clearly. I have one that I'm going to be using to pour these two into and mixing it up in here and pouring it from here. So, part B, part A. I also have these little things. I don't know what they're called. Uh, but I also put A and B on these. Because what I'm going to do, instead of trying to pour them from these bottles, it may take me <clears throat> a little bit longer to do this, and that's okay. I'm good with it, because it doesn't start hardening until I mix them together in this, okay? I've also pre mica some of this stuff. Now this is, holographics. That's a holographic mold. I'm going to see what it does on that. I'm going to see if it comes out as a holographic uh, on the white. Uh, this is all new to me, so we're going to learn this together. This has nothing on it. Just a plain mold. But it's the holographic mold. This one right here, I did the water drop technique. I used UV resin to make the water drops. Then I used chameleon powder, mica powder, over the top. We're going to see what that looks like. Of course, these are my famous skeleton heads. <laughs> I make key rings out of these, and I actually sell them quite well. So this one's got a silver chrome mica powder. This one has a real dark blue, almost a blackish gray mica powder. This one's got a coppery looking mica powder. These are all mica, whoop, whoop, then it just fell. Okay, those are all mica powders. Then I took this, I've never poured this before, but that's a gold chrome mica powder. It's a lion head. I've never poured that before. I couldn't even tell what it was until I put the mica powder on it. And I don't know if we're going to have enough to do that or not. And then this, of course, is the biggest one. And it's a seashell. And yes, I put a white voodoo disco mica powder in there. I just want to see if it's going to pop up on this white or not. And I don't know if we're going to get to all this or not. I am putting this little mask on. It's not a respirator, but it's a mask. I don't, it says it's low odor. I will let you know. I'm going to sound funny in this thing. Okay. This is the part A. have A. I don't want this right in front of my face. I'm going to set this over to the side and do this. Oh, okay. It's got like a little like olive oil tab thing to open it. Oh, I see. You push them back. Okay. I'm going to take this I'm 
And I'm just slowly going to fill this up. It may take a few minutes and that's okay. I'd rather do it slow and not stress out. I've not seen anybody else do any videos on this other than the two that I've already mentioned. I'm sure there'll be more and more. This is, this is a new product. This just now came out uh, on Friday, I believe, is what, uh, I think it was Sherry Moulton that said that it had just come out on Friday. Wow, this may take me a while to get up to this is more resin than what I think it is, but it didn't seem like this was going to be much resin. <laughs> but I'm slowly just putting it in. I'm about halfway there. I think when I get it, the, the bottles topped off, where they're not right at the top, I think maybe I'd feel a little bit safer pouring it out of the bottle. But I really don't have a problem doing it this way. Let me set it down. I'm gonna move this mold. Cause I'm almost there. I'm gonna get level. over. I've got some baby wipes over here that I'm laying that on. I'm gonna close that up. I got my part A. I don't know if you can see this. Part A, right there on that black line. Okay, I'm gonna get part B. Got my B. Got the B over here. And yes, I know this is probably self-explanatory, but this is all new to me, so. Anybody who doesn't watch watch this can fast forward. Well, this one's not coming out as easy. Okay. So I'm going to move the A way over here. I don't want the two combining until I want them to. Oh, and I got a wasp over here. They need to go away. I'm doing this faster because I know it's going to take several of these tubes, so... go a little bit faster because I'm doing it a little bit faster than I did the first time.
not putting any color in this right now. I'm just doing the molds. I'm putting the color directly on the mold right now. too much when we start to pour this. So I'm going to get it all ready. Okay. Taking the A and the B. Oh, wish me luck. Okay. The A and the B are going in together. There they go. And I'm not going to take the time to uh, I'm going to move it off here. Wow, this is like water, guys. pretty clear. Okay. I'm going to pour the heart. Okay. I'm going to pour this. I'm going to pour this. Any bubbles anywhere? I don't think I'm going to have enough to pour. I guess we wait the 10 minutes <laughs> or maybe I could try <clears throat> to pour more okay maybe I'll try to pour more it's just the A Waiting for that. Do this or not. 
to have poured way too much. Okay. Got B. It's not getting white, guys. Oh, yes, it is. Okay. Okay, I'm back. I had to go. It's not turning white. <clears throat>
dress as I thought it was going to turn white. Oh, that one feels warm. Can you see it changing? I don't know how to tell when it's done. Oh wow. Oh wow. I think it's done, guys. It feels warm. The mica is on the back, too. <clears throat> oh 
Okay. I've got the gloves on, so it's hard for me to... I'm going to just, I'm, I'm going to just do it. This is my very first piece of resin, y'all. Well, not, I, I've used UV resin, but I've never used anything besides UV, UV resin. Uh, okay, y'all. I think this is the water drop. What do y'all think? You're seeing it before I am. Okay, I'm gonna look at it now. Oh, wow. Okay, when you get in the light, because we're on the back porch and that's really pretty when the light's hitting it. I can see where I was in a hurry and I let the UV resin there strings. But that's just a smooth. It would be gorgeous if I hadn't have let those little strings pop in there. Oh, wow. Okay. There's that. These feel warm, but not hot, but they do feel warm. It's funny how the silver, the mica powder is going all the way through. I think it's done. Okay. I'm going to demold it. Should I keep the gloves on when I'm doing this? See, I don't know. Oh, guys, really, look. Okay, I'm just seeing it through the camera. But I don't see any air bubbles. Oh, wow, guys. Okay, this is too cool. <laughs> oh, this is cool. <laughs> yes, I'm excited. Oh, wow. That, I wish y'all could see this in person because there is, there is no imperfections in that thing. There is not one little tiny, tiny air bubble. Oh, my God. Oh, 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 okay. Let, let, let's go, let's go on to the next one. Let's go to the next skull head. Funny thing is, is I'm not even a skull person and I've got, I've had so much fun doing these things. Now I did get too much on here. I over poured, I can see it. We'll see how easy it is to, uh, Tell you what, resin's a whole lot harder to get out of a mold than, uh, oh, wow, okay, I get to see this one first, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm having too much fun over here, this was the navy blue black, look what it did, guys, I couldn't have asked for a better. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Oh, am I going to have fun with this. Oh my goodness. That is awesome. Okay. Ah. Is it just gonna oh this is just wonderful. Let's let's do the copper. This is the lighter one, okay? This is the, the copper and all I did was put mica powder inside the mold and brush the mold, okay? That's all I did guys. Oh it picks up 
every look at that look at that it picks it all up it picks it all up off the mold this may be white opaque but you can make it any color 10 minutes 10 minutes oh this is a game changer for me Okay, I made several of these because I didn't have anything else out here. Which, we'll try. This was the very first one I did. I wanted to see if you got the holographic effect, okay? Oh, and you do. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh, my goodness. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that or not. Let me, let me go get my flashlight. Hold on just a minute. I want you to be able to see that. I'll be right back. I'm back. I got the flashlight. Since we're out on the back porch, I don't know if you can see this. Oh, I wish you could. I really wish you could in the camera. I don't know if you can or not. Can you see the different colors? This was just the resin, nothing else, but because these these molds are holographic. Oh, this is just wild, guys. Okay. I don't know. Now, this is not going to show up on the camera. I may have to take them inside. something on it. I did not clean the mold out good. It's got a little piece there, but I don't care. This is my first trial and error. And yes, to answer the question, does it work with holographic molds? Yes, it does. Just make sure your molds are good and clean because this white shows every tiny bit of stuff and buddy, there is stuff on there. if you can see that. I wish you could see that it's not showing up in the camera. Wow, but it's definitely showing up. Now, I didn't do anything with these absolutely nothing um i'm gonna demo the shell and we'll see if the the mica powder works on there oh, this is too thin this piece was too thin okay let me show you. I'll show you. This piece is thin, okay? It did, <laughs> it's bending. You see how it's bending? Yeah, it's, it's bending. The other ones didn't do that. And I think it's because it was, I didn't, I didn't pour it all the way. <gasps> oh, wow, that's wild. It picked up the pattern. Now, let me show you. Can you see how it picked up the pattern of the texture of the, the thing that I had it on? That's wild. I wonder why 
it's so bendy though. Because it is, it's really bendy. Which is cool because it just gave me another idea how you could take this and pour it thin, manipulate it. Like that. Which is really cool in itself if you can do that and you can manipulate it. Let's see how much you can manipulate it. Let's just see how much bend and stretch it does have. I'm just bending and twisting and stretching. I just want to see how much flexibility you do have in this. Wow, and you have quite a bit actually. Yeah, so I don't know. I don't think all the pieces are like that. No, that one doesn't bend. Yeah, no. It must have just been that one. No, they don't bend. That one was really super thin. So maybe that's why. Uh, and it takes time for... I don't know. But the rest of them are not like that. Oh, and it untwisted. Look at that. I laid it down in it. Look, let's just watch this and see if it just lays itself down. Oh, that's wild. Oh, it is laying itself down. Can y'all see that in camera? That reminds me of the shrink a dink uh, stuff that you want to shrivel up, you know, in the oven. And then... Is that done? Oh, wow. See, this is just unreal. This is just unreal to me. It's still warm. So that tells me that it's not totally. This tells me it's going to be bendable. Let's see if it comes out. I over poured this too. I'm going to have to learn how not to over pour. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, I really over poured in that. Can y'all cut, can, can you cut this off? Can you cut all that off? I hope so. But isn't that a pretty mold? That's a Timu mold. Look how detailed that is. Oh, I'm gonna put some black paint on there, a black paint wash, and antique this. That's really cool, guys. Wow. Okay, this just opened up a whole new world for me. Okay. Let's see how easy it is to, oh. Now you couldn't ask for cleanup to be any easier. Do you see how that's just coming off of there? That's just popping right off of there. Wow. Okay. One more. For this video. Now I didn't pour this all the way and I don't know if it's gonna turn out because I didn't pour it. It's still bendy. Should I wait? See, I'm asking y'all, because I don't know. I see an air bubble right there. That's the first air bubble in any of this stuff that I have seen. Not one air bubble. And, and you saw, I didn't blow any torch or, or put alcohol or anything on it. I don't want this bending coming out of the mold and it's still bendy. I'm gonna do it anyway. So it's just what I do. They say 10 minutes demolding. It's been 10 minutes, so we're going to go for it. Wow. Wow. <laughs> there 
there it is guys yeah that mica powder I don't know what this is unless there is something in the mold and I don't know if you can you see that there may have been something in the mold that I didn't know but that mica powder it most definitely picked that up because you know I don't know if you can see that but that's without nothing can you tell the difference? That definitely. And can you see the sheen? Can you see the shimmer on it? It's got different colors. Purple. Blue. I hope you can see that. That is so awesome. This, this is just, oh my goodness. <laughs> This is just, uh, this just opened up a whole new, I, I've said this already, I know I did, but I'm so excited. And I really didn't do anything. All I did was just pour stuff in a mold. <laughs> That's all I did. This I'm going to put alcohol ink on. Even though it's the holograph holographic, I'm going to try some alcohol ink on this and see what happens. Um, and just see. Oh, my eyes is itching. I'm going to take my glove, glove off. off. That right there didn't bend. Oh, now it's hard though. Now it's hard. Yeah, I just didn't let it. But you can manipulate it and then it, it will retain the shape that you manipulated into. So this is cool. This would have been really cool if, see these little, see those little this porch is really dark. No, it's too much light. But there's like little streaks. And that's where the, I let the UV resin uh, string go across it. And I just didn't notice it because I was in a hurry trying to get it done so I could get another video out. But that definitely does work. And it definitely, this, this resin, it's polyurethane resin, picks up whatever is in the mold. I mean, completely and thoroughly. Oh, and this right here. I couldn't have asked for better results. Look at that. Look how it did that. The white highlight, not the white, but like a grayish highlight around the bone structure. I mean, how... I couldn't have asked for better. Look at that. Look at that coverage. I mean, complete and total coverage. Same thing on this one. Complete and total coverage. Now, the back looks funky. Because it's got white and... But, I mean, you know... I can, uh, I can take care of that. I can paint that. But, you know, it's shiny. See, look how shiny that is. Just like regular clear resin. This, this white polyurethane resin is still shiny. And I wish I knew. It's like I can, I want to scrape it off. But I, I can't scrape it off because it's in there. 10 minutes, 10 minutes, and you can make yourself a soap dish. 10 minutes. That's unreal. That's how big that is. Wow. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Welcome to the wonderful world of resin, Beth. 
I am definitely hooked. <laughs> uh, I'm losing light or I would do more. I want to do these so bad. I really do. I want to do these, but I'm losing light. Um, it may be where, you know, uh, I don't know, because I have to mix it. I don't want to mix it inside. And I don't know if I have time to run in after I mix it to, to pour it in the mold, but I may try. Um, I may try that later on tonight. But this is just this is just wonderful and, and I hope y'all if you have any desire to get into resin you haven't yet I hope maybe you'll go this route first this is so satisfying and uh, so easy this this is so easy and I am washing these sticks off I've got alcohol. And once it cures, it's supposed to be um, fine. It is not supposed to cause any issues whatsoever. looking for the top of my alcohol. I've lost it somewhere. I just don't want to throw it away. Oh, there it is. But that's it, guys. Uh, there's, it's dried on that. Let's see how easy it is to, to get off of the stores. It doesn't peel right off of this, but it does come off. Okay, there it goes. It's sticking on this because it's a silicone. But this is everything that I made. And they all came out fantastic. The only imperfections on it is my imperfections, where I didn't clean the mold off good, or I didn't fill it up full enough, hence the bendy one. This is almost like, I don't know if y'all ever did this or not, but when I was a kid, Used to be a, we used to take glue, just regular white school glue, and we would put it on our hands and let it dry and then peel it off like we were peeling our skin off. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> That's the kind of entertainment we had back in those days. Uh, but it's actually quite satisfying. Uh, so if you've never tried it, why don't you try it? Let me know. <laughs> uh. I think I'm going to end the video here. I hope y'all enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button. Uh, and if you've not su subscribed to the channel, uh, I would love it if you did. I am so thankful and so grateful to the people who watch my videos. It means more than you'll ever know. And your comments, I love reading. So if you have a chance, please leave a comment uh, below and let me know what you thought of the product 
and the items that I made and rather not you plan on uh, getting this. Now if you want a discount code, I believe uh, Sherry Moulton has a discount code and, and I would, you know, I was sort of surprised because now Daniel Cooper it is a real big resin person and so is uh, Steve McDonald. <clears throat> And I was sort of surprised that neither one of them had a uh, video out yet. Now, they, they may have a video out by now, I don't know. But the last time I checked, um, uh, there was only two videos out, plus the, the actual resin one. And that was TNR and Sherry Moulton. But you may want to check Steve McDonald's or uh, Daniel Cooper's, because they normally have really good coupon codes. <coughs> Um, I did get a coupon code from Sherry Moulton. I believe it was $5 off. But normally the, the other ones have a bigger discount. But, you know, maybe they have something to do with the company. I don't know. But you may want to check with those two also and see if they've got a video out yet. Um, but thanks again for watching. Um, and, um... You will see me again real soon uh, because this I love. I, I absolutely love it. Hope you all have a bright night and I'll see you again real soon. Bye bye. Hey guys, I'm, uh, this is a, just a short clip I'm adding to the, the wonderful video of the, the new polyurethane resin. I wanted to show you, of course, this is a, one that I did out of resin crate. Or tea expert I don't remember which but I made a little air uh, plant planter out of it and I just thought it turned out so cute and talking about easy and here's another one I did oop and it just fell out okay what I did is I, <laughs> I filled it in with sand you know, I make these little things out of the casting cup compound. I just put sand in there. And I got the air plants at Lowe's. They came in a little uh, plastic bag and they weren't expensive. They were like two dollars I think. But I just thought that was adorable. And then I've got another one over here. And you're mm. supposed to mist them once a week. That's all you do. So we'll see how that turns out. And I also wanted to show y'all, this is what I did with the casting compound the other day. And I didn't show it to you. And this is, I'll show you the pieces that are resin crate, but you'll be able to tell the difference because part of it's resin crate and part of it is uh, tea expert. This is, uh, I just did this in all white because I wanted to paint this. And that's a dragon shield. And then I did these little flowers. And what I'm planning on doing is, you see how it, yeah, I'm gonna put one of them up there. I'm not sure yet which one, but, and then here's the other one. And then I did this. Uh, I'm not quite sure what this is supposed to be. A uh, coaster, a crystal coaster maybe. Uh, I'm not sure, but I'd never poured the mold, so I decided to pour the mold. Of course, these are heavy. Now, these are real heavy and very thin inside. <clears throat> uh, just a little bit bigger than a finger, I guess. Uh, but it goes all the way down. This is the resin crate. You see what it does with the color? And it changes. It won't it won't be like this uh, in its final stages. I don't know why it does that. That was one color I poured in there. I didn't pour in two or three different colors. Same thing with that. This was a blue. This was a blue resin pigment color that I put in there. And that's what it does. 
and I don't know why. Now, you'll see the difference. This is T-Expert. It's the same blue. Yeah, doesn't look like it though, does it? It's a smooth color all the way around. I really like this cross, by the way. Um, you don't get the same. Does not happen with any other one besides Resin Crate. And I don't know why. <clears throat>